This morning we're making dill pickles. It's just for yummy socks. I've got my two helpers here. Claire is measuring out the salt for me for our brine. Mm, is it good salt? Mmm, salty. <laughs> Let's make pickles. So what I've done so far, I've got my quart jars or liter jars that are clean. I've stuffed in my whole dill cucumbers. In the bottom of each jar, I've got uh, a couple slices of garlic, a couple chunks of garlic, and I've got a few pieces of dill, including a seed or a flower head. Now that's where a lot of the flavor is, so make sure you put that in each jar. Once I've got all the pickles or the cucumbers rammed and scrammed and jammed in there, then I've got to pour my brine on top. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure the brine is at the right level and everything's fitting in really nicely. I always like the brine to come up right around just to the bottom of the rim where the jar starts to narrow. Once that's all done, I'm going to wipe off the rims really well with a piece of paper towel and just some hot water. I want those rims to be super, super clean before I put the metal lids on. Once I'm done with cleaning the lids, I'm going to take a wooden skewer or a chopstick and I'm going to try and push out some of the air bubbles. Now it is tough to do this because of course you've got all those cucumbers in there, but give it a whirl and you can get at least some of the air bubbles out. Once again, cleaning the rims again. Now I'm going to put the metal lids on. Now I use the two part lid system because that's what I've always done. Of course, I haven't tried the reusable ones quite yet because uh, I like to hear that ping. Now I'm going to put the rings on just a finger tight. You guys know the drill. And once those are all on nice and finger tight, I'm going to lift each jar carefully into my canner. My canner is warming up nicely. I use a steam canner. Um, they're pretty old-fashioned, um, but they're coming back. People are starting to use them again because they use way less water, which is really nice. Put them in, wait till the water starts boiling again, get some steam going, and then I'm going to start my timer. I'm going to can these for, I think, uh, 20 to 25 minutes. And after that, I turn it off, I let them cool down a little bit, then I take my jar lifter and I lift out my can my finished jars. Put them on a nice dry surface. I always put a tea towel on the counter and wait for the ping. And there's my beautiful jars stacked up in my pantry. Take the ring off, put a label on it, or mark it with a sharpie, and you're good to go.